Hello, crafty friends. My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a recap of my Oh So Inspired September series and announcing a special winner at the end of the video. So I hope you'll stick around, watch the recap, and find out if you're the winner. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. In the month of September, I wanted to focus on creating with what I have instead of buying lots of new stuff. I was doing this not only to kind of revisit my own stash and get creative, but I also needed to save up for Stamp Joy, which was earlier this month, because I knew that I was going to want to have some retail fun there. Well, Stamp Joy was a blast, and if you haven't watched them yet, I do have a vlog series where I get ready and I go with my partner in crime to Stamp Joy, and I'll be finishing it up here over the next week or so, but I will have that playlist linked in that description box below. Well, I did have a lot of fun at Stamp Joy, not only just crafty fun, but also a lot of retail therapy fun, and I had some the week after. It looks like now I might be in for a no spend November. Let me know if you're in for some challenges to use your stash in November. If you've watched my old Oh So Inspired series where I had a collaboration team or my Oh So Inspired live series where I create with other artists live on Saturday nights, you know that I love to be inspired by other creators. I think that no matter your skill level, your favorite medium, your style, that we can all inspire each other. Well, I thought it would be fun to have viewers submit inspiration pieces, and then I created with the chosen ones throughout the month. Not only would they get to see me being inspired by something that they have submitted, but they also have the option of me sending them the cards that I make. So after this video is done, these cards will be on their way to their submitters. In front of me here are the six cards that I was inspired to create in September and what I thought I would do is have a little slideshow so you could see the inspiration piece and then what I ended up creating. Now I will have this playlist linked in the description box below so you can definitely go see more of the process and if you have any questions about anything don't forget to leave those in the comment section. At the end of the video then, I want to tell you about a special live I did with my channel members and I have a giveaway winner to announce. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at the cards and their inspiration.
I had such a fun time in September and I am looking forward to getting these cards sent out to their recipients. Now for the next part. At the end of each month, I get together with my die cut and paper trimmer level members for a little live crafty session. Sometimes I'll do something with the latest sheet load of cards. Other times I'll just, you know, create for fun while we chat. Well, in September, I thought I would keep that oh so inspired theme for the live. So I had my members submit special inspiration pieces. And then during the night of the live, we chose one and I created a card on camera and some of them played along with me. Now I do usually maybe give away like a little stamp set or one of my stencils each month during the channel member live. But this month, since I asked people to play along with me, there was a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Not Too Shabby. I thought that was a fun incentive to get crafty with me and I will be announcing the winner here in just a second. But before I do that, I want to show you the inspiration and the card that I created. Up on screen now is a look at the chosen inspiration. It was submitted by Rachel and it is actually a color combo. So since I'm in the fall mood all the time pretty much, but definitely in the fall and I love leaves, I use the color palette to make this card. It was just a cute, quick, simple way to incorporate that color palette. Before we take a look at the cards that my channel members submitted and announced the winner, I did just want to let you know that if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. And if you're on a laptop or a computer, there is a join button right underneath this video. Memberships start as low as $1.99 a month. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards submitted by my channel members. I had such a fun time being inspired in September. Thank you to everybody who took the time to submit an inspiration piece for the series and to my two channel members who played along. Now let's go ahead and find out the winner of that $25 gift certificate. To choose the winner today, I use wheelofnames.com and you usually just put in a list of everybody who is qualified. Well, since there were only two people qualified today, and I thought that putting names in multiple times to have lots of colors would be more fun, I did type in each of their names, both Karen and Rachel, three times into the wheel. Now all I have to do is click spin to find out who the winner is, and that is going to be Rachel. Congratulations, Rachel, and thank you so much to Karen as well for participating. Rachel, I will be in contact with your gift certificate code. I hope that you enjoyed the Oso oh Inspired series and seeing this recap. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.